Have you ever found yourself interested in someone who sees you as a friend? It's tough when you have feelings for someone only to find out that they don't feel the same way about you. You're not alone. In a recent study published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships in 2019, over 80% of people experienced unrequited romantic feelings at some point in their lives. Many have been in your shoes and know just how difficult it can be to have strong but one-sided emotions for someone. It's easy to feel discouraged and want to give up altogether. However, don't lose hope just yet. With the right approach, it's possible to turn things around and go from being just friends to being in a romantic relationship. Let's explore some practical steps you can take to make this happen and see if it can turn things around for you. Step one, communicate your feelings clearly. Transitioning from the friend zone to a romantic relationship can be challenging, but communication is key. Psychologist Dr. John Gottman emphasizes the importance of clear and open communication as the foundation for successful relationships. When expressing your feelings to someone, it's essential to choose your words carefully and be considerate of their feelings. Using I statements can help avoid accusations or ultimatums and create a safe and respectful space for the conversation. For instance, instead of saying, you never see me as anything more than a friend, try saying, I feel like there's something more between us and I'd like to explore that. Remember, it's important to be prepared for any response the other person may have. They may or may not feel the same way about pursuing a romantic relationship with you, or they may prefer to remain friends. Whatever their response, it's vital to respect their feelings and not push them beyond their comfort zone. Two, show your intentions through actions. Biological anthropologist and relationship expert, Dr. Helen Fisher, emphasizes the importance of actions in building a successful romantic relationship. According to her research, certain behaviors such as eye contact, touch, and proximity are powerful signals of romantic interest that the brain is wired to respond to. Thus, expressing your intentions through actions is a meaningful way to convey your feelings and transition from being stuck in a friend zone to in a relationship. Consistency and reliability in your actions demonstrate that you're committed to building a healthy and lasting relationship with the other person. Make a genuine effort to plan dates and spend quality time together always follow through on your commitments. By doing so, you're showing that you're a trustworthy partner who values the relationship, wants to build a strong foundation. However, it's crucial to respect the other person's boundaries and comfort level when it comes to physical intimacy. It's important not to pressure them to engage in anything that they're not comfortable with. But always be considerate of their feelings. If they do express interest in physical affection, it may be a positive indication that they're open to exploring a romantic relationship with you. Three. Give them space to decide. Clinical psychologist and expert in attachment therapy, Sue Johnson, emphasizes the importance of respecting the other person's autonomy and emotional needs and building healthy relationships. In her book, Hold Me Tight, Seven Conversations for a Lifetime of Love, Dr. Johnson highlights the importance of emotional openness, ability, trust, and fostering emotional closeness between partners. She believes that emotional closeness is the foundation of healthy relationships and that it requires both partners to be willing to be vulnerable, open with one another. When it comes to transitioning from a zone to a romantic relationship, it's important to give the other person space and time to make their own decisions. Dr. Johnson advises against pressuring or manipulating the other person into feeling a certain way. Instead, respect their feelings and allow them the time they need to process their emotions and make their own decision. If they do decide to pursue a romantic relationship with you, that's great. However, not, it's important to accept their decision and move forward while still cherishing their friendship. With the right approach, it's possible to shift things and turn your friendship into a romantic relationship. It may not be easy, but it's definitely worth exploring if you feel there is potential for something more. It's important to remember to take things slowly, respect the other person's boundaries, and give them the space and time they need to process their own feelings. We hope you found these tips useful. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please feel free to leave a comment below and share your experiences or any additional tips you might have. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with anyone you know who might also benefit from this information. Your support helps us to continue creating helpful content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon with more helpful tips and advice. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below.